Yeah, g'day, Brian Duggan from BJ Constructions. Um, we're just uh, going to show you where we've ripped these walls out um, in the bottom of this house at Rabina. You can see up there everything's going through. Um, what we've found is we've got a, a brick, a bricked up um, base for where the concrete slab sits on top there, it runs along the bottom. Um, it's exposed brick, but it hasn't been water, uh, waterproofed or treated for termites or anything like that. And you can see the, how the uh, timber wall sits on top of the slab. You can see the close up there. You can see that there's your slab, and there's the bottom of the timber wall. And we go down here, you can see down, right down here against the thing, you can see it's just plain dirt and earth. So, what we're going to do have to do is we're going to get some experts in uh, in relation to waterproofing and get a look at that. You can see in the corner. Where the brickwork is here, you can see right through the daylight there. And if we go up the wall, there's a bit more daylight there. You can see through up there, and further up, further up we go. Well, so the place isn't sealed off properly, and uh, it needs a really good some experts coming. We've got a soils engineer coming in tomorrow to have a look at it, and we're going to take it from there. We'll go up the sides here. You see that gap between the brickwork and the timber. It goes on both sides, there it is there again. Go right up there, you can see how the gap, you see daylight through there. All the way up. So it's pretty bad. So it all needs to be fixed to get the stop the water from coming in. Then we'll go through the other section. And we'll go up to here and have a look where the boys are in the front. So we've actually, looking at the front door, we've pulled the uh, ceilings and that out. And we found, we've got to go to this side a bit. Well, um, there's your front door, and above the front door is a double top plate. So you've got two pieces of timber on top of each other, completely eaten out. So the trusses have dropped down. You see the corner there? That's kind of where they stopped. So that corner truss, just the, the, this one here, it's level. Now these ones, there's no, that one there, and then this one here, and the next one along, truss up there, have all dropped. And uh, it's made the sea, the sea, the ceilings all not level, and it's now it's started to crack the ceiling out and everything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the front wall, and replace the front door, and replace all the timber stub work around it. So we're going to get rid of that 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 beam up there. Existing beam is an Oregon beam, and I doubt whether that'll pass these days. Um, but anyway. Yeah, if the termites love Oregon, so I can bet you that they're very eaten into that as well. So we're going to replace that with a nice solid hardwood beam, chock it all up, and make sure that it's all nice and secure. So anyway, at the moment we've found these these walls here, the kitchen walls. We can't see any problem with those. Um, you'll notice that the step down, you've got more step down stairs. This would be the same as what we saw out in the other side of the room. It runs right along the side of the house, so we try and work out how to waterproof the back of this as well. So that's another issue. So anyway, there it is. We'll come back to you um, in the next few days and let's see how we go. Thanks a lot.